Beach. We're about five miles down the beach, uh, and then we're headed out to a rig offshore about two miles. A little BTB today out at the rig. Um, first time I've ever been out to a rig in the uh, Gulf here, so on a kayak. So this was uh, exciting for me. I was happy when the weather actually turned out to be good enough where we could go out. Water was a little bit murky, so we weren't sure we were going to catch much on the way out, but we trolled some lures anyway. Um, did end up catching some stuff, and you'll see that here in the video in a minute. Getting the kayaks pulled down to the to the shore, getting everything set up. You know, you always you always set it there and stop and look at everything and think, okay, what am I forgetting? Because once I'm out on the water, <laughs> whatever's back at the truck is back at the truck. So, took a few minutes, got everything set up, and uh, headed out. Paddling here, I'm probably about, I don't know, maybe a half mile offshore at this point. As I'm paddling, I hear Kyle saying something. I wasn't quite sure what he was saying. I look behind me and I see him holding one of his rods that he was trolling a lure with. And so I yelled out to him and said, you caught something? And his response was actually kind of funny. He says, uh, yeah, but it's not that big, I don't think. So I turned the camera and headed over to him. And when I get over there, he says to me, well, it might be a little bigger than I thought. You can see the rod has been almost in a U-shape. And I said, yeah, you think? <laughs> so we didn't, still didn't know what it was at this point. Um, took him a few minutes to actually get it to the surface. He, he said it, it uh, felt really heavy and kind of dead sticking. It wasn't really fighting him. It was just kind of staying still and not coming to the surface. So After a few minutes though, he finally got it to where he could see it. He knew it was a shark just based on the silhouette. We still weren't quite sure which type, but well, I think it was about right here. You see, uh, you'll see, you see the nose of it here in a second. right about this point that he told the scream, you know, scream but he yelled out to me uh, it's uh, it's bull shark pulled it up to the surface you can see the nose of it there a little bit you see the white underbelly right there a little hard to see I didn't realize how far away I was these GoPros have that don't really see far away very well it gets really tiny really quick but so I paddled over to him and brought it back up to the surface just real quick here and so the first problem that we both uh, were trying to figure out number one why on earth a shark is biting on the lure he was trolling number two how we were gonna get trebles out of a shark so started talking and considering and trying to figure out how we were gonna pull trebles out of a shark without having a problem so after a few minutes of letting the shark get good and tired so we didn't have a, a thrashing shark over the treble issue. Um, I came around to the side to see if I could help him. So he's he's got what he's got in his right hand there is a uh, tail uh, lasso. He's trying to get the shark to come horizontal so he can lasso the tail. We can get a little better control over it and that way we can uh, go ahead and try and see if we can't get those um, hooks out of its mouth. You can see there he's, he's got the front set of trebles in and there's a back set just inside of his jaw so it's definitely not going to be an easy task. I tried to paddle over and he told me go ahead and try and lift the shark with my paddle. Um, see if I can't get the tail up for him but this shark was just every time I touched it it either laid down straight like it is or it would thrash and move away from us a little bit so after after trying for a little while we just had to say you know what we're just going to have to let it come out of the mouth naturally I mean there's not much we can do this, the back trebles were, were deep in there and there was not really much we could do getting them out you can 
can see here, it's not enjoying us playing with it. <laughs> so he almost got it right there. He got pretty close. You can't see it on camera, but he dipped that loop down in and almost got it. Still just looking at how we can do it, and he's trying right now to just just unhook the thing, just let it go. Um, we've had this thing up long enough. We're trying not to stress it out as much as we can to let it recover on its own, and you know, we're just gonna have to let those hooks rest out. Luckily, it's uh, he told me it's kind of a cheap lure that he had. He just got it too, so <laughs> got it and lost it. Seems to be how the new lures work. So we were also trying to trying to get an estimated measurement on it. So before he went ahead and got close to it to unhook the uh, clip, there we were just trying to get uh, get it tired out. So he ran it by his boat a couple of times to see if we could see the total length kind of estimate so based on the kayak's length and the tail that we can see and we can't see it here on camera very well because of the sunlight reflected on the water but we could see it it looked to be about five foot maybe even more I don't know it, it, it was a pretty big shark so we got that off the line and headed back moved over to the rig First thing I catch, trying to catch a little bit of bait. I was hoping for a croaker or whiting or something like that. I swear I've got a sign on my hooks that says catfish here. <laughs> so first couple we threw back, hoping that we would uh, catch some better bait. But after a while we decided, oh well, catfish are bait too. So I stuck one on my big pole and let it float out behind me. And Kyle was still trying to catch some some bait off the bottom with some squid he had. Of course, I was using fish bites on a, a dual rig setup. Kyle had a single hook setup. And lo and behold, off the bottom on squid, what does he bring up? Uh, nice, nice size black drum. A second to get it off the hood, and then I paddled over and shot some quick video of it. It is actually a really nice drone. We got him released and back in the water and went back to fishing. surface. I was talking about the bait there. I had the bait going wherever it wanted and then I brought it up to where it was just below the surface with a cork floating it and with the line length not allowing it going too deep and man something took off with it and before I could get the camera on it really stripped a lot of line out. I finally got got a handle on it and Bait was still alive though. So whatever it was, didn't didn't chunk it, didn't cut it in half, didn't kill my bait. My bait was still flipping around, so I just go ahead and let it back out there. Never did come back and get it though. Just continued fishing and here I thought I had just another catfish the way it was pulling and popped up the surface. There was a 
nice little spade fish, and Kyle was actually telling me they catch them about twice that size out here. I was thinking this was a big one, and he said, nah, we catch them twice that size. I said, well, man. <laughs> There's a point in telling them where I caught it, right off that leg. I, I was getting a whole bunch of hits. Finally caught one. I actually caught another one later, but it brought me in the structure. It broke me off. Here we go back in. Had a good day out there, had fun. I started in and I paused because Kyle rolled and the wave snuck up on me and Whee! didn't quite roll it, but I didn't stay in the kayak either. <laughs> oh well. Can't win them all, but at least I didn't dunk them. Got them pretty wet though. I had to go and rinse them all down with a good freshwater bath when we got back on the beach. Had a blast though. I mean, you can see off to the left there that storm. That's one of the reasons we came back in. It, it came on, in on us pretty quick. Had a little thunderhead rolling with it, so we decided, well, we better get out of the way of that because it was coming right at the rig. In fact, while we were in inshore fishing, we watched that storm roll right over the rig and head on by. So it's a good thing we came in. Well, we did some uh, inshore fishing that night and the next morning, and that'll definitely be out in another video coming up here. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you like what you saw here. Give me some comments. Let me know what you thought about it. Like I said, we're going to have um, some inshore of this same trip. I'll be putting together a video for the inshore stuff that we did right off the beach. Uh, we had pretty good uh, action with the redfish and some sharks. So keep an eye out for that video, and we'll see you next time.